Listen, everybody, to the words I have to say. This is Daniel White III with the Second Coming Watch update. This is update number 423. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy-related headlines which point towards the Second Coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. First up today... According to World Net Daily, former UN Ambassador John Bolton said, Israel does not have much time to make a fateful decision about whether to strike Iran's nuclear sites. In an interview on Sunday, he said Israel now faces the fateful decision whether it will allow Iran to get nuclear weapons thus constituting a true existential threat, or whether they will strike as the Israelis have done twice before against nuclear programs in the hands of hostile states. The former UN ambassador reacted to a statement by former Defense Secretary Leon Panetta, who said that while the United States has implemented unprecedented sanctions and pressure on Iran, we may very well have to use military force to back up our policy. Second today, according to AFP agency France Press, South Korea's spy agency said that North Korea was using Russian technology to develop electromagnetic pulse weapons aimed at paralyzing electronic military equipment south of the border. EMP weapons are used to damage electronic equipment at higher energy levels. An EMP event can cause more widespread damage, including to aircraft structures and other objects. Third today, according to World Watch Monitor, Four Iranian Christians who were jailed for attending a house church have lost their judicial appeals. The four Christians were each sentenced in June to three years and eight months in prison. They were arrested in February 2012 and charged with spreading Christianity, disrupting national security, distributing propaganda against the regime, and being in contact with foreign agencies. This is the latest in a long line of prosecutions of Christians in Iran, with the most common charges being actions against public security and propaganda against the government. Fourth today, according to the Jerusalem Post, after the second car bombing in Ashkelon in less than two weeks, Israel's Southern District Police began deploying dozens of officers and Border Patrol agents to the city as part of what they say is an effort to restore the feeling of security amid ongoing world uh, underworld violence. Uh, Police investigators will attempt to trace the whereabouts of the car before the blast in an attempt to pinpoint where and when the explosive device was planted. An official said this is a clear and present danger to public safety. Fifth today, according to the Times of Israel, new papers on the depth of Washington's intelligence gathering activities has revealed that spies shared information garnered through eavesdropping with Jerusalem, but also secretly tracked Israeli military actions. The documents from Washington's National Security Agency reveal how American agents have spied on leaders from Iranian's supreme leader to the UN's Secretary General. And for the first time, the papers also reveal that Israel has been the target of NSA spying. According to the papers, the NSA has tracked high-priority Israeli military targets 
including unmanned aerial vehicles and the Black Sparrow missile system. Jesus Christ said in Revelation 3.11, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Our second coming quote for today is from Ronald B. Allen. He said, I think what makes the second coming worse in judgment is that all of those things God did through meditation, mediation, that is through creation, nature, gone riot, creation in upheaval, but in the second coming, the judgment will be done not by water, not by flood, not by fire, not by storm, but by his own hand. Ladies and gentlemen, you can read these stories in more detail and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. If you are not ready for the return of the Lord Jesus Christ, dear friend, may I encourage you to get ready today by trusting him as your Savior. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Just believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died for your sins, was buried and rose from the dead by the power of God for you, so that you can live forever with him. Pray and ask him to come into your heart today, and he will. Romans 10.13 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Keep looking up, for your redemption draweth nigh. Let us join in the prayer of John the Revelator when he prayed, Even so come, Lord Jesus. God bless you. Don't let